fighting games. This statement is kind of the founding principle that created this entire channel. Back in 2020, when the world was doing its thing, I created several videos on my favorite fighting game at the time, Dragon Ball Fighters, as I wanted to share my love of this game with the community that I admired so much. Eventually, over time, that love spread out into other different games, until eventually fighting games as a whole became my favorite hobby. Granted, sometimes this love can manifest in strange ways, but just know that everything I do for fighting games, I do because I love them, and I want to see this genre reach the heights that it can. Now, you may be hearing this and thinking, oh god, Gecko's gonna do a massive takedown on why fighting games are bad or something stupid, but no. Today's a very special day for me. February the 3rd is my birthday, meaning that I can do whatever I want on this day and nobody can say anything about it. So today, I'm just gonna gush about every single fighting game character that made me love this genre. I want to go through all of the games and characters that have touched my heart in some way and express my love of them to you. Let's be real, we've been pretty negative on the channel recently, so I just wanted to gush about my favorite characters for however many minutes. So, let's talk about the characters that made me love fighting games. So let's start where all good things start. Let's start at the beginning. Dragon Ball Fighters wasn't the game that I thought that I was going to play the most when I first started it, being the fact that I kind of hated this game when I first played it, but eventually over time I learned to love this game, and it was all thanks to the team that I picked. Your team in versus games is extremely important. Generally, versus games follow one of two philosophies. Either every character is an extremely complex character, and the way that they all gel together means that you can get extremely powerful combinations, or characters aren't the most fleshed out, meaning that other characters have to fill the gaps that those characters leave. Dragon Ball Fighters is more of the latter type of game, with a lot of characters being quite homogenized, and at a first glance, very similar. Granted, if you played any amount of the game, then you know that that's not really the case. But the team that you play does have a massive impact on your playstyle and the way that you look at the game. And while I could gush about my entire team, there is one character here who I have the most to say about. Today, I want to talk about my anchor, Trunks. Trunks was the character for me that made me love Rush down. He opened my eyes to what was possible with mix-ups and pressure. And the feelings that he brings out in me, I have never found in any other fighting game character. Sure, all of his tools are extremely basic, but the way that they all mesh together is extremely fun. But the biggest thing for me was the flip. Specifically that EX flip. I have talked about this flip so much but it has left such a giant impact on me that I can't stop talking about it. It's like a drone. Every time I go back, I just want another fucking hit. The versatility of this one movement tool has made me absolutely fall in love with this character. And every time I think about him, I want to go back and play more fighters. But times change, and people change with them. And while Trunks was my first love, he truly wasn't my last. After messing around with Dragon Ball Fighters for a while, there was another Arc System Works game on the horizon that I was really looking forward to. You might be familiar with it, you might not have heard of it, it's a little bit underground. We don't really talk about it that much on this channel. It's a little game known as Guilty Gear Strive. Guilty Gear Strive is currently my favorite fighting game. It's the one that I have easily spent the most hours on and is close to being my most played game of all time. You best get sweating, Team Fortress 2. When the game came out, I quickly fell in love with Giovanna. Again, another extremely simple character. You can kind of see the trend here. Her fast movement, ridiculously plus pressure, and simple game plan meant that I was able to learn the fundamentals of the game and still style on my opponents with very easy to do, but flashy combos. I love Giovanna, but over time, I begun to realize that the changes that were happening were making her less fun, in my opinion. 
And while I will always have an extremely soft spot for this character, she has been overshadowed by Biken. If you don't know, I've been playing Biken for about two years now, and while I have faltered a little bit with some characters' release, yeah, I have no intention of leaving this character at this point. Biken feels like the baseline of what I want to look for in a character nowadays. Sturdy, good defense, good pressure with a lot of mix-ups and scary sequences, and a funny parry which makes me just say, fuck you. While she does suffer a tiny bit in the neutral department and could use a little bit of TLC, Biken is easily my favorite character in Strive for several reasons. The ability to have basically all of your combos be safe with IAD Tatami, as well as beating out your opponent's safe jumps by parrying on Wake Up, creates an extremely powerful game plan we can leave your opponent wondering what to do. TK Yosensen showed me that TK inputs are the shit, and I will always love them and search them out, and the absolutely devastating combos with meter and counter hit lead to some of the most beautiful sequences, in my opinion. Biken may have changed a lot throughout the life of Guilty Gear, but Strive Biken is easily my favorite iteration of the character. Now, those of you who've been around for a while and are quite observant might know that a while ago, I really wanted to get into Tekken 7. This didn't get very far, unfortunately, but there were a couple of characters in that game that really spoke to me. For those of you who know a little bit too much about me, you might already know that I tried Julia and Miguel, and for a while, those were my two main characters. And yeah, I really love Julia, and I really love Miguel, but I have something that I need to admit. There's something that I've not been telling you guys, and well, it's been eating me up inside. There was a character that I used to play before those two. Before Miguel, before Julia, before I gave up Tekken, before I even played Dragon Ball Fighters, there was one character who I used to play in Tekken 7, and that character's name was Alisa Boskanovich. Yes, back before I even got into the anime scene, I used to be an Alisa player. And if I'm entirely honest, I still love her. Now, this is quite strange. Alisa plays nothing like any of the other characters that I've mentioned so far. Instead of being a high rush down tanky character who is either able to get in front of your face really quickly and do a bunch of damage or stick to you like glue, Elisa plays a slower game, trying to poke out the opponents and keep them at a distance. It's only until she activates her chainsaws where she's able to really get into that aggressive stance. So what gives? This is kind of the antithesis of everything that I like in a fighting game. But I don't know, man. I really like Elisa. There's something about her slightly awkward, stilted charm, because, you know, she's a robot, that really just, like, gets to me. It's not in, like, a weird way or anything. I just think Elisa's really cute. I like the way that she talks. I like how overly formal she is about everything. How she's quite caring. How several of her moves play with the fact that she is, in fact, a robot. She has a command grab where she gives you her head, and it explodes. And in more recent news, she has chainsaw. Chainsaws! Chainsaws! I don't know, man. I'm not exactly a waifu player, despite what everything looks like so far, but something about Elisa just means that I can never hate her. Now, for this next character, I have a little bit of a story that I need to tell you. In May of last year, I went to a tournament in Stoke-on-Trent. Big up Wake-on-Trent, one of the best regionals I've ever been to. It might not actually be doing it this year, which is... Very upsetting. I obviously went for Gilly Gear Strive because why, why wouldn't I? But while I did that, I also decided that I should try playing in the Melty Blood bracket. Now, I hadn't exactly played Melty Blood a lot before, and I kind of just wanted to go in for the memes, for the bit, for the joke, you know. Melly Blood's a fun game, even though I don't know that much about it, but it might just be fun to, you know, go and try, see what happens. I got fifth. It was kind of a small bracket. There was like 18 people in the whole thing. But, you know, fifth out of 18 people isn't that bad. I even took a couple of games off of people who seemed like they actually knew what they were doing. And since then, I have had a massive, massive love for MASH. Do I know anything about Fate? No. Do I know anything about MASH? Not really. 
Do I own a figure of the character that I got when coming back from the tournament? Because, well, I mean, she helped me get top eight. You bet your fucking ass I do. I love this character. She's so silly. Something about being able to shield bash across the screen and get a full combo off of it. Then putting your opponent in a block string and getting a free 50-50 off of that by spending a little bit of your moon gauge is really fun. I kind of thought she'd be slow and sturdy, but she's an extremely fast character. And she's got a lot of cool setups and cool combos that I like doing. She's apparently not very good, but I don't care, man. I like MASH. She's cool. She's fun. She's my Melty Blood character. I'm going to be very upset when I won't be able to play her in the next one. Ah, Skullgirls. The little fighting game that could. I have a massive appreciation for Skullgirls. This fighting game has been through so much shit, yet still somehow is kicking. This game came out when I was in high school and is still being updated. The level of dedication that the team has to this game is honestly amazing. If you don't know, my team is Beowulf Valentine. Not because I think that those two synergize very well together. They're just two characters I wanted to learn and then I never picked up an anchor. I do really like Beowulf. I think he's got a lot of cool combo routes, funny damage options, and easily the funniest neutral option I've ever had in a fighting game ever. But he's not Valentine. She's just a little bit silly, you know? She's a little bit kooky, a little bit quirky. She's got a lot of really good pressure sequences and is able to make herself very plus if the opponent doesn't know what they're doing. But the main thing that I like about it is the fact that I found a reset like by myself. <laughs> by doing this combo, you're able to end it differently so you either land on the left or the right and it's pretty ambiguous if your opponent doesn't know what to look for. Of course, even if they do block it, you just get to keep going. I really like her movement as well. Her little hover dash in the air is very fun to use. And the fact that when you back dash, you actually put yourself in the air, meaning that you can back dash into a hover dash is quite cool and can catch people unaware. And her combos just look so sick. Like her combo routes are actually so fucking cool. I really like this character. I wish I had more to say about her, but I don't play that much Skullgirls. So we're just gonna have to end it with she's cool. And that goes through most of the characters that I want to talk about. The rest are kind of smaller sections. There's not a lot that I have to say about them. So I'm just going to quickly run through them and give the reasons on why I don't have that much more to say about them. But if I'm entirely honest, most of it is just I haven't played the games that much. So lightning round, let's go. DNF Dual Dragon Knight. Really cool character, played it when the game was alive. Game's dead though, so I don't exactly get to play it. Adachi Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Kind of the same problem. Went to Evo, game got rollback, came back, nobody was playing it. Jury Street Fighter 6. Oh my god, is Gecko saying Street Fighter 6 is dead? No, I'm just not a fan of Street Fighter 6. Maybe if I played her instead of Ken, I'd have actually stuck with the game, but eh, who fucking knows. Reina Tekken 8. Tekken 8 is very new and Reina's a very hard character. So I'm kind of learning to play her, sort of. She's very cool. I don't know how to play her though. Mishima are hard. Ruby from Blade Blue Cross Tag Battle. Technically my first ever fighting game main. However, I don't actually know any of the cool stuff with her and well, I don't play BB Tag as much as I'd like. So she's getting put in this section. Akatsuki from Akatsuki Blitz Comp. Again, I just need to play more of this game. Played it at Evo, had an absolutely amazing time, but goddamn, nobody wants to play this game with me. Anytime I'm like, hey guys, you want to check out Okaski Blitz Camp? They tell me to fuck off. 2B from Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. To me, Nier Automata is... And those are the characters that made me love fighting games. But I don't want to just gush myself. I want to hear from you guys. What are your favorite characters in fighting games? What characters got you into this genre? And what characters can you just not hate no matter how much you see them? Please let me know in the comments below or come over to my stream. We're doing a birthday celebration. We're going to be playing some Guilty Gear Strive, having a couple of silly rules, got some silly redeems and stuff. It's going to be a great time. Thank you all for watching. Please go and enjoy fighting games. I'll see you all next week. As always, a very special thanks to 64 MHz, Almost Nap Time, Ben from Canada, Savantis de Leon, Daniel Wiederich, Edison Luddery, Fexo, Games.png, I am Naoto, Knife and Spoon, Critty Cat, 
MP04, Mr. Clem, Ray W, Sergeant Cubby, Super Falcon, Tom Tanks, Velvet Puppy, Volta, and Zandatsu, being tier 2 patron supporters.